The compressor of this fridge is not working. It is a non-inverter refrigerator from Samsung company and I will repair it in this video. It is a fully electronically controlled refrigerator. This is a triple door fridge, and our 600A gas is charged in it. First of all, I will start testing this refrigerator from its compressor because the control board of the fridge is turning on. The electric cord of the refrigerator is also working fine. I am going to test why the compressor is not starting. When I open this box from the refrigerator, the running capacitor is also present in it. I will test this capacitor as well. Now I will check the relay and the overload by opening the protective cover from the compressor body. I have removed the clip from the compressor cover. Now you all can see that an overload and a PTC sensor are installed with a compressor. I will remove it from the compressor by using a tester. Now, this way, it comes out from the compressor. I will remove the overload as well. Now let me remove it and then show you what the problem is. Now I have tested the compressor as I have already made a video on how to test a compressor. Watch that video after watching this video complete. Now I have removed the overload and the PTC sensor for testing them. It would be best if you had a multimeter to check it. The overload has two terminals. One terminal is the input, and the other is the output. This wire is the output that is attached to the compressor. And a special electrical thimble or connector is installed with its wire. You can see this connector here. I will check the continuity between them. I am attaching the wires with the multimeter probes to check the continuity. The multimeter is giving a beep sound, and you can see the reading on the multimeter as well. This means that the bimetal strip inside the overload is fine, and the overload is okay. Now I will test the PTC relay. It has three terminals on the front. One, two, and three numbered terminal is written on the PTC relay. Now I will test it on continuity in the ohms mode through the multimeter. The 1 and 2 terminal points are in series. I should get a continuity beep here. And when I check both these points with the third number terminal, I should get some value on the ohms mode in the multimeter. Now I am checking the relay between the 1 and 2 number terminals. The multimeter is showing continuity on these points. This means 1 and 2 terminals are ok. Now I will test with the third number terminal and change the multimeter to the ohmmeter mode. Almost we are getting 35 ohms reading of the PTC relay. This means that the PTC relay is absolutely fine. Now, if I check with the next terminal, it should also show the same reading. The probes are not attached tightly, which is why it's not showing the reading here correctly, but the PTC relay is fine. Now the next test I will perform is of the electricity, whether the electricity is flowing towards the compressor or not and whether the wires that are coming from the electronic PCB are disconnected or not. I will pass electricity to it as it can be tested on the continuity mode, but I will test it through the electricity. The PCB will also be tested that whether the relay inside the PCB is passing electricity to the compressor or not. I have set the multimeter on AC voltages. The wires are also attached. Now I will pass electricity through it. The fridge's electronic board has been turned on, and the relay has also been switched on. But we are getting 37 volts on the multimeter. This means the neutral is energized, but the phase point is not. This means that any wire has been disconnected or the PCB control board is faulty, as we are getting only 37 volts. Now I am checking which wires are coming from the PCB towards the compressor. The red and blue colored wires have arrived from the PCB board and are the main electricity for the compressor. Now I will find where these wires are attached to the PCB board. The second number wire is the blue colored wire, and the compressor has been written with this wire. The red wire is attached here and is the neutral wire, as the neutral was passing through the compressor. But still, I will check it once for my consolation. I have attached one of the probes wire with the blue wire installed with the compressor. And I am attaching the second probe wire with the blue wire in the PCB board. So this wire is fine. Next, I am checking the continuity with the red wire attached to the PCB and the compressor. This is the neutral wire. This wire is also fine. Now, let's check where the fault is. 
Now I have removed the PCB to tell you where the fault is. See, this switching relay and the PCB is working, but the points inside them are not connecting with each other when energized. Now I will change the relay in the PCB board and then show you whether it works or not after replacing the component. I have now repaired the PCB board and installed it on the refrigerator. Now I will see whether the compressor starts or not. I will pass electricity through the fridge. The PCB is turned on. The compressor has started to work, and the multimeter is showing 247 volts on the multimeter now. This means the refrigerator has been repaired successfully. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.